Does a Rotax 582 have enough power for a light sport aircraft? The answer is coming right up. What is up everyone? It's already been a whole year since we bought our KFA Bush Baby, which in South Africa is a light sport aircraft. That means we've flown it all seasons of the year. We've flown it with just one person up, almost empty tanks on cold winter's mornings, and we've flown it with two people up on hot afternoons and everything in between. I've accumulated about 40 hours on this specific aircraft, so I now have a pretty good idea on how it performs. To be clear, this video is not about the performance of the Rotax 582, but the performance of the application of this engine in a light sport aircraft. Countries classify this differently. So an example of what I'm talking about are aircraft like the Bush Baby, Kitfox, and Avatflyer and such, typically with a max oil up weight of around 500 to 600 kilograms. I'm also using empty weight as an indicator instead of max oil up weight, which is more of a structural strength thing. But let's not get into that in this video. Just after I got my endorsement to fly our Bush Baby, I started to notice a big drop in performance when we were two people in the plane instead of just me. It's of course normal that performance would drop in any aircraft the more weight is loaded into it. But I also noticed that when flying anything between a late morning and mid afternoon in the summer that performance would be miserable. Again, this is normal considering that we're flying from an airfield with an elevation of 5000 feet and in on a summer's afternoon the density altitude can easily exceed 8000 feet. But was this much drop in performance normal? Because of this observation, I made the conclusion that our aircraft with its current power plant cannot safely be flown with two people up, any significant amount of fuel, anything close to a summer's midday. I even declined to fly our own aircraft on the biggest flying adventure I've ever been on, in fear of a dangerous lack of performance when loaded close to maximum all up weight. Our aircraft is however not the only KFA Wish Baby or similar light sport aircraft with a Rotax 582 power plant and very few of the other owners had similar experiences. So what is different? Most Bush Babies, earlier Kit Foxes and other similar aircraft has an empty weight somewhere between 250 and 295 kilograms. Our aircraft had 320 kilograms is thus the weight of a light person heavier before loading anything into the aircraft. That plus flying from an airfield with an elevation of 5,000 feet is what I attribute this lack of performance to. A couple of weeks ago I flew out to the warm bath tail drag flying with my dad. It wasn't quite summer in South Africa yet but it was an exceptionally hot day for September with afternoon temperatures reaching 33 degrees Celsius. Since we were to fly out early in the morning, I didn't expect much trouble, even though we were heavily loaded. And when we were to fly back late in the afternoon, we would have less fuel and thus be lighter. The flight to warm baths went alright, even though we were seeing extremely slow climb speeds and even cruise speeds as low as 65 miles per hour. But the flight back in the heat of the day was different. I've never been so petrified to have been correct in my original conclusion that this plane is not safe to fly on hot afternoons with two people up. We ended up trying to gain altitude to clear terrain most of the flight back. It never became an emergency since I closely managed energy by using updrafts to gain altitude and using reserve power not to descend too much when hitting downdrafts. But this was enough of a realization to say never again. Okay, that was a bit of a long-winded introduction, but hopefully now my answer will make sense, which is that a Rotax 582 can absolutely be powerful enough for a light sport aircraft, but, but only if at least one of the following criteria are met. One, you mostly fly from a field at or close to sea level. Two, the empty weight of the aircraft is less than 300 kilograms. And three, you plan to fly one person up most of the time. If your application and conditions don't meet at least point number one or point number two, personally, 
I would look at a power plant with more horsepower for your light sport aircraft. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. Needless to say, this is my opinion but it's an opinion I feel very strongly about. So with that being said, our application and conditions we fly in doesn't meet any of the mentioned criteria. So unfortunately, we will be selling our wish baby. Okay, I'm just kidding. I love it way too much to sell it. But what we are going to do is... <laughs>